What's up guys, my name is Khan, and we're back today with more Scrap Mechanic, and by the end of this episode today, we're going to take this car and punch it so hard, it goes flying all the way to the other side of the canyon. Don't believe me? Yeah, it's gonna happen. So I want to build a turret that has a boxing glove with one of those scissor lift type extension mechanisms, and of course, it's gonna shoot this uh this car all the way across the map it's gonna be absolutely amazing so i feel like this build is gonna be pretty much three different steps first is trying to build the scissor lift type mechanism that can extend out with the boxing glove on it second is going to be building the boxing glove itself and then of course third we're gonna mount the whole thing to a turret somehow so i honestly have no idea how to make this work um, I know the scissor lift mechanism, it's like two sets of bearings, but I think the problem is we're going to have to build it fully extended just because of the way Scrap Mechanic kind of deals with bearings and collisions and all that. Um, so I think we're going to have to actually build it in the fully extended position and then retract it. Ideally, I want to do it with just a single piston that goes up and down here, uh, but I honestly don't know if this is going to work at all. So let's try it. This might be the winning solution here. Um, what happens if we extend the piston out now? This is the magical question. Oh, would you look at that? Isn't that, isn't that amazing? Hold on. That's actually sick. Okay. Okay, so it's like somewhere at like seven and a half. And then when we bring it to one, it extends all the way out. That's so cool. This is exactly what I want to do though. So if we give it a minimum distance of one... Okay, that, yeah, that's, I think, the problem. And then a maximum distance of, oh, no, 15. 15's not good. Uh, 10? No, what was it? 7? 8? 8 is resting. 7? Okay, so it's like 7.5 we need. Man, we might, we might honestly need number logic for this just to get this piston to be like 7.8 or whatever. But look at that. It actually works as a scissor mechanism. All right, so to do the next one, I think we put the bearings here because uh, they have to be perfectly lined up with the last one and then this next one would start i think it has to go outside inside outside inside in order for this to work so this would be one two three four five the pivot point would be here somehow and then one two three four five and then well i guess we could just do this bring this in a little bit okay and then one two three four one two three like that and then this would be the next section moving forward so what is what does this actually do Oh my god, that's so cool. Does that... Is that working? I can't... Hold on. Let's weld this to the ground. It's really hard to tell. That's actually so cool! Oh, now we just gotta repeat this like 3,000 billion times. Alright, alright. Let's... I'm so excited. Okay, this is gonna work, I think. So let's just do at least like two more and see what happens. Alright, so I've extended it out to just a ridiculous level. If this works, this is gonna be the coolest thing... I mean the coolest magnum. See, now it's saggy. I don't know how to... I don't know how to stop it from being saggy. But anyways, look at that. That's so cool. It looks just like the cartoons. Like, pow! It's also really, really slow. We might need to... We might need to do something about that. Maybe we'll blueprint edit the controller to be quicker. But I don't... How do I stop it from being saggy? Does this have to be just... This has to be elevated more, right? You're gonna get... The craziest reach on that thing. I, I think that's good enough. We just need to make it faster. So let's save this real quick. And um, we're just going to try and speed up the controller and see what happens. Here's one that's sped up five times faster. Which, you know, seems a lot better. Like you see you get... But then this, you know, that... Uh, the retraction is a little bit... Um, that, that happens. Alright, so here we've got a double speed one. It's not even... It's not even that much faster, to be honest. It's it's almost like we need to power all these individual joints as well as this piston if we really want to go quick. I think the piston just maybe has too much work to do. I mean, we could try using the mod pack too and throwing in some number logic and then that way it would go, you know, however fast we want it to. So I've got the mod pack now. Let's grab some number blocks and let's see if we can actually make this faster with a smart engine, which might be possible. We'll need one of those, need one of those. And uh, again, we'll just be powering the piston to start, but we'll put a smart engine into it. And that way we can, number one, control the, the distance a little bit perfectly. And number two, we'll be able to, you know, completely customize the power and everything else. So smart engine hooks into that, no problem. Uh, we'll give it a position, which will be uh, this plus sign, I guess. And it'll be a default position. 
which is gonna be this one block here. So we can give it a default position of like one or two. And of course we need to give it a speed and a power. Um, the speed is going to be white and the power is black. Now the power by default is like 100,000 or 10,000 or something. So we'll just, you know, we'll give it a really big number as well. Uh, 10,000, there we go. And for the speed, let's start with one. Oh, that's gotta be hooked up. One, two, three, okay. Let's clear that. Let's go to uh, 100,000. There we go. 200,000, 300,000, 400,000, 500,000. Speed of three blocks per second. I mean, that, that seems all right. And then to do, of course, the additional movement, uh, we just take a multiplication block here, plug that into the addition as well and give it a constant and we multiply it of course by a switch so whenever we plug in this switch the switch is either a one or a zero right so if we plug in the switch to the multiplication block it's a zero by default and this basically just acts like an and gate so we're at two i believe we need to go to eight so one two three four five six so now if we press the switch it adds six more to it and okay well the piston seems to have a lot of power but it's not moving quick enough. So let's increase the speed. And let's try it again. I mean, that's not bad. Okay, let's do more speed. You know what? Let's just set this to one and then let's give it a speed of like 10, 20. That's awesome. That's literally what we want. Kabam! Bam! 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 Bam. All right, so if we go like this and like this, right? And we mount two pieces like that. And then we attach something like so. This thing's just gonna, that's just gonna flop all over the place, right? And if we weld this up, that's not gonna actually work. How the heck do the boxing glove toys, how do they keep it level? I'm so, see that just, that just flops down. And then it, they need like, you need like a third mounting point. How the heck do we do that? All right, so I think I have an idea that might actually work. So on this end, it stays horizontal because we have a piston extending. So I feel like on this end, we can do the same thing. We just have to make the piston not actually fight back. So if we bring these both forward, right, then on one end, we have a block. On the other end, we put the piston. And theoretically, if we connect this up, then this side here will go down but this side will get dragged up and hopefully that actually will keep the whole thing level because physics says it should, I think. I don't know. Let's try this. We need to make sure black is zero so that this smart engine has no power, which means this piston won't try and fight the mechanism at all. It's literally there just as an extendable block, basically like inverted suspension. So here we go. It looks, okay, it looks like it's doing something so far. So let's see if this, let's weld it to this pillar. Okay, and go back. Oh, it's caught. What did it what did it do? Uh oh, that's not that's not good. It swung it swung underneath. I thought this was gonna work. Alright, I think I actually fixed it. The problem was the piston had to be lined up with these two bearings. Because I had the piston in front, it just flopped over on the bearings, but because it's lined up now, uh science, physics, it uh it, it works. It stays up, I think. Watch, check this out. Retract, piston extends, but this block here, this is what we're concerned with. We're gonna mount our boxing glove um, basically stretched between this point all the way down like this. Let's pretend this is our big flat boxing glove, something like that. And now when we extend it out, look at that. It stays horizontal, stays horizontal or vertical, I mean, whatever. Either way, look at that, it works. So now we just need to a big glove on the end of it and smack somebody. All right, so I know it doesn't really look like a boxing glove at all. It It's pretty much not. We're actually, you know what? We're gonna soften these sides out a little bit too. I pretty much just made a giant like bop machine. Like you're basically just gonna smack them with a red bag. It's not really, you know, a glove, but I think it's good enough. And um, I wanted to make sure it's kind of small because you see, it's getting kind of heavy. It, oh, and then it, uh oh. Oh, it jammed a little bit. Hold on. Hold on. We'll just put it on the lift. There we go. Yeah, sometimes it jams. All right, so now we just got to paint this thing to make it look, you know, a little bit more like a glove. So let's give, you know, a nice little black scissor mechanism, and then we'll do the entire glove in red, of course, to try and camouflage it. I love the way this scissor works. I was looking these up 
online and trying to figure out how to make one in Scrap Mechanic. And I realized the thing with these scissors is they have to store themselves at this angle so that all the bearings still line up but don't interfere with each other. If you try to build it vertically like this, you can't actually build these pieces because, you know, the angles are all sort of weird. So it's kind of nice that you can do this stuff in Scrap Mechanic and uh, it just takes a little bit of thinking to figure out how you're going to build it properly. All right, perfect. This looks kind of like a glove. So now all we're going to do is make it launch stuff. And I know you guys are probably wondering how we're going to do that or maybe you figured it out. We're obviously going to use one of my favorite mods and uh, that is, of course, Minnie's mod with the burster block. And I feel like we're just going to put a ton of bursters in the front of this thing and it's going to be magical. So let's just take this off and put it on the lift. Look at this. Building it, so convenient. I mean, this is this is really cool too. But anyways, we're going to cut a hole in the back here. And uh, we'll just use it to put some circuitry in. So we're going to need an OR gate. And that'll just be, of course, because we'll have a bunch of sensors on the front and a bunch of bursters. And they'll all just, you know, trigger together. So it doesn't matter which one you hit. All right. And then we're just going to take the front here and convert it to be half sensors, half burster blocks. So obviously, we're going to put two bursters right in the middle. We're probably going to need a plate in behind this, to be perfectly honest, to be able to easily attach this stuff. So there we go. So we're going to put two bursters in the middle, just like that. And then burster, 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 burster. I feel like this is a nice, good grid pattern. Looks kind of clean. And uh, that way, if you look at it from the side, you're not going to see any weird sort of sensors or burster blocks. They're all contained in this center pattern. So you just got to make sure, you know, you hit stuff pretty much dead on. Uh, but again, if you trigger one of these sensors, it's going to trigger every single burster block uh we're just making sure they're all yeah they should all be good and then for all the burster blocks we can use a number block as well so we can just put actually a number block right here and i believe we put a number into the bursters that sets the power level of them it's kind of nice that mini made his mod super compatible with you know number logic from the mod pack it just makes your life a lot easier so i believe now they've got a power level of zero let's seal this back up uh, and then we'll hook up a little static block to that. So there we go. Perfect. And we can hook up just another little block here and hook this into the number for the bursters. So let's bring this a little bit closer, I guess, to our vehicle. Although we're probably gonna have to move our vehicle. We've got our thing hooked up. Back this up. Uh, let's give, let's start the bursters off with a power level of, uh, 10. I think they go up to, I don't know how high they go. I think 20 is the max. And then let's just do a real quick check here. So, how far does that, that goes to about here? Okay. Lined up with that tree, give or take. So now if we put this, you know, somewhere, somewhere like here. Um, I wonder what's going to happen. We made a really good grappling hook. All right, let's increase the sensor range so the bursters go off before one block. And, of course, let's reweld this guy. I wonder if all the sensors are looking through. No, there's no way. One of those sensors has to at least not be hitting the window. All right, here we go. Let's test it. Three, two, one. That was amazing. It was so good. <laughs> it's just it, oh it's it's so good oh my goodness let's i want to i want to do that again hold on hold on i want to we, we can do something bigger right what about a train what about what about this terrible this terrible multiplayer monday train let's just bring this closer we need to mount this to a turret hands down but let's see ready three two one <laughs> it just in the glove is the glove's so broken the glove's so broken, but the train is gone. Look at it, it's way over there. Oh my goodness, this is amazing. I need, uh, we, okay, you know what? Let's, before we hit more stuff, let's put this on a turret and mount it to some sort of a vehicle real quick and, and then we'll move on from there. All right, so I've gone ahead and just done the typical con slap down a metal body with some basic tank steering. Since we have the mod pack, it's actually really easy to just set up some tank steering with WS plus minus. Basically the same circuit that we do in main assembly just with the mod pack logic. So that's kind of awesome. But uh, yeah, now we've got our boxing glove mounted to the front of this vehicle. So we can just drive around, look for trouble. And then when we find it, we can just line up and boom. So let's go see if we can get to the other side of the map. I feel like we need to speed these engines up too, to be honest. These are not very quick. So let's do that. And let's see if we can just get to the other side of the map there. I see that train and I'm, I'm going to go hunt it down. It's kind of wedged up on a rock here. I have no idea what this is going to do. Every test we've done so far has had it welded. 
Um, now it's not, so I guess we're just gonna line up, and I kind of want to keep a little bit of distance, and boom! <laughs> Where'd it go? Oh, this is the world's best boxing glove. This is so good. Where the heck did it go? I don't even, I don't even know where it went. It, I think it was this way. I'm not, I'm not exactly sure. You know what? Let's just, let's just spawn a bunch of stuff. You guys remember little Timmy's house from the new V Pro we did a few days ago? Well, check that out. Boom. Oh my God, it stabbed the tree. Oh. Okay, we just made, that's how you make a tree house. Here's a giant glass ball. Um, not sure why I have it, but... Uh-oh, uh-oh. Uh-oh, well, that's okay. We can put this on a lift. It, uh, you know, let's try that again. We're, let's go get that glass ball. Let's try that again. What happens if we fling the Hung V into the map? Does it just, does it hit the wall and stop? Does it go through? Time to find out. It's in a tree. It's stuck in a tree. I need to save this. Oh, I did save this video. I was about to say, this is this is going to break the map at some point. We're going to destroy the map. This is so much fun. This is like the dumbest possible build. But it's just such a stupid idea. Here we go. Boom. Wow. You could make the most aggressive game of Rocket League with this thing. That looks really cool too when it flies through the air. All right. Let's go hunt for more stuff. You know, let's put more stuff down first. All right. We found a rover on the surface of Mars. That was awesome. That was, this is so good. The burster blocks are so much fun. And it actually feels like you're hitting it, too. Because of the way that it's got that sensor distance of really, you know, short two distance, it's enough to keep the object off the front of the glove so it doesn't glitch out as much. But it also really feels like you're just giving it a good smack. Like, like here we go. Boom! Hit the one leg and just gone. Let's do it again. This is so much fun. This is actually the best build I've ever made. That one was weak. Maybe if it only gets hit by one burster, it doesn't hit as powerful as if you... I don't know if that's a thing. I figured if you hit it with all the bursters, it would be the same as if you hit it with one. Maybe it it, it is six times more powerful. I'm not sure. That one definitely seemed a lot more powerful. All right, let's try the ball again. This is so much fun. Look at that. We could literally play Rocket League with a huge ball put some burster blocks in the front of your car and it would be the most incredible game of Rocket League. I don't know why I haven't thought of doing that before, but clearly that's what we have to do is play Rocket League with burster blocks. All right, well, we've got more cars here and stuff to send flying. It's just, honestly, I wish there was just a map full of garbage we could just send everywhere. Oh, oh, that one took a bit. That was kind of weird, but I think we were looking through the window, but definitely let me know what you guys think of this build in the comments down below. Oh boy. Oh Oh, that was not, that was not a good idea. You know, I built this thinking, all right, we're going to put a burster block on the end of a, you know, a punching bag and see what happens. But I didn't think it would actually work nearly as well as it does. I thought it would glitch out a lot more, but this is actually like, look, running hit. Oh, oh no, that was, we shouldn't have done that. Wow. Okay. Good thing we can just put this on the lift, though. Of course, I will upload this to the workshop so you guys can check it out, download it. It uh, uses Minis Mod, the pre-release one, I believe, one of his older ones with the burst block. And then it also uses the Mod Pack, of course, just for that smart engine capability. But let me know what you guys think. And uh, while you're at it, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. And as always, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And we'll see y'all next time. Can we hit this? No. Oh.